Hello, and welcome to another blessing video. This month is November! Not presently, because it's December. It's January. It's January. But we're going to be doing November blessings. November 1st, rain in all caps. Second, fall feeling and family dinners. The third, crisp air. The beginning of November, it really started feeling like fall. And I just got so excited because the air got really crisp and you just were like, oh, it's getting to be winter. Fourth, study time. Always study time. Fifth, preparation. It says next exam. So apparently I was having a big next exam. Six, patient. I don't know if it was an actual patient or I was just being patient, but both are great. Seventh, sleep, because sleep's important. Eighth, British coin. Okay, so I was babysitting. And, um, I've been babysitting this kid since he was, like, one, I think, and now he's four, so he's growing up. But we were sorting through some of his coins and found a British coin, so I got to, um, what is it? What was it? I think it was a pound. Just a one pound coin. And so I got to explain to him that this is why it looks different. <laughs> Nine. Patience. This is patience, as in being patient. Tenth. Productivity. Eleventh. Easy day. Twelfth, focus. Sometimes when a lot of stuff's going on, you know it's hard to focus. When you're studying and you can just really focus in on what you're learning, it's so much easier. Thirteenth, nurse advice. Okay. For all you nursing students or nurses, when you're doing, um, when you're in clinical and you have just an amazing nurse who just wants to impart knowledge to you, it's so much fun. Because this was the day I had a nurse and she was just like, okay, so you always check potassium before you give a loop diuretic. And what was the other thing she told me? Maybe it was a K-Rider? Something about a K-Rider? I wrote it down somewhere. A K-Rider and iron is always given separately in central nutrition. So it was just, it was good. I love when my nurses give me advice. Fourteenth, employers. Okay, this day... I was not, I was feeling really ill when I got to work, and so I just let them know, and they sent me home. So it's just, I like, I like where I work. So it's good to like where I work. So that's a blessing. All the time. Fifteenth, speech, comma, soup, comma, and dresses. This was probably one of the highlights of the semester. My two roommates and a friend, we went to a Panera Bread across from a mall, and we studied. Why well, did study? I wrote a speech. I wrote my last speech for public communication. And I had um, butternut squash soup because it's my favorite. And then we went dress shopping for just like regular casual dresses. It was just a really, really fun day. 16th, family. 17th, the last speech. I've already said this, but public communications, not my favorite class. Probably my least favorite. Ooh, yes. Public communications, least favorite class I've taken so far. There you go. 18th, study time. Jeez, I'm so... When you know it's a blessing that you have time to study, you don't have time to do anything. 19th, fish fires. 19th, fish fires. That's an interesting one. So I volunteer at a youth group, and this day we were doing our Thanksgiving with the students, and one of them brought a fresh mackerel. Not a live one, but like a fresh bought mackerel. And we decided, he decided to burn it, because we had fire pits going, so we burned a fish. That happened. And apparently now it's tradition. 20th, drop factor. Okay, this was the day when I got the chance to hang an IV, and it was really, really fun. 21, de-stressor. I think I did something fun that day. I don't remember what. 22nd, pajama day. I love pajama days. 23rd, sweet pea. I think I've said her before. That's my cat. 24th, the stars. I am obsessed with the stars. I love the stars. I just like, I just like looking at them. 25th, my ads. My ads. I literally have no idea what that means. 26th, music and tea. Okay. This was during when I was writing my case study. This was over Thanksgiving break. And I stayed 
awake for 23 hours straight to write this paper, which ended up being 55 pages long. So that was 26th. I listened to music for 23 hours and drank countless cups of tea. 27th, watery yams. 27th, I believe, was Thanksgiving. And um, this year, my family decided to have an untraditional Thanksgiving, consisting of steak and baked potatoes. America. <laughs> um, and I was the only one I brought... I was the only one that brought traditional food. During the night of being awake and writing my paper, I also made cranberry sauce and yams with raspberries. But my ra my rams, my rams, <laughs> my yams turned out quite watery. But I was still blessed because no one else really ate them, so I ate them all. <laughs> 28th vacuumed carpet. Pet peeve. I cannot stand unclean carpets, or floors for that matter, but especially carpets, just because like stuff just gets stuck in the carpet. So af after I vacuum, I'm just, I love vacuumed carpets. 29th, reading in bed. Uh, this day I had, I was behind on my psychology course work, um, and I had to read a book in one day. I think I read 100 pages, because that's all that, that was required, but I just stayed in bed and read a book, and it was really nice. 30th, rain and the roommates return. Yep. Oh wow, we started off the month with rain and we ended with rain. And that was November blessings. So thank you for joining me for another month. I'm going to go ahead and film December's blessings now and um, just finish this off. 365 days of blessings. One more month and then this will be over. <laughs> Alright, if you would like to subscribe, go ahead and click right here. And then my Tumblr and Twitter are down here. And October's Blessings video is right here. And go ahead and watch that. And I'm going to go ahead and film the next one. Okay. <laughs> Ciao.